What's up guys, welcome back to Reject Films, back with another video for you guys, got a few packages in the mail and a few pickups to show you guys, and uh, yeah, I got one of these a couple days ago, but I've been waiting on another one to arrive so I can share it with you guys, and uh, yeah, hope everybody's doing well, and uh, you know, it's Friday, so hope everybody enjoys the weekend and everything, and uh, gets a chance to catch up on some movies and all that good stuff. Got a package here from uh, Ronin Flicks, who I've ordered from one other time. And uh, this is one that I guess was out of print for a while and came back in print recently. And it was going for uh, really good money on eBay and stuff. But uh, yeah, when we get to it, if you guys want to pick this up, now is definitely the time. And got a package from my first order from Epic Pictures. And uh, I do... Um, get review stuff from them, but, uh, it's all digital, uh, you know, links, and I didn't really have a way to, uh, stream them very well for whatever reason, and when I did, it's like, it doesn't take up the whole screen or anything, so, uh, I have gotten me some cables to go from my iPhone to HDMI, so it'll come out a little bit better, so those screening links that I get, like, all the time from different companies, uh, I get a lot from, uh, was it, Uncorked, um, the uh, October Coast and all that stuff. Uh, and a couple other companies, they send me links like almost every day to movies. So now I'll be able to really watch them and enjoy them like I should be able to. So yeah, the, I did watch uh, from Epic Pictures was uh, Terrifier when it first uh, came out or before it came out. They sent me a link to that. I felt like I was like the first person to even watch that movie. <laughs> And then it, you know, became what it is today, and you know, and it's now on Netflix and everything, and everybody's seen it. But uh, it was really cool to kind of see that movie first before it became, you know, the huge su successful phenomenon that it became. You know, with uh, Art the Clown and everything, and I absolutely loved it when I watched it. And uh, got a package here from a uh, Facebook member, from one of the groups I'm in to replace something I got on the last uh, update video I did. So, if you guys watched that one, you might know what's in that box. Anyway, got a few pickups here. Uh, so we'll, we'll start with those first. Uh, one everybody picked up, I'm sure, that is the Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. I always want to say far away. Far From Home, not far away from home. Uh, 4K. Really dig this slipcover, uh, the back art and everything. Uh, I thought this was a little bit, even though it's simple cover art on this one, I think it's better than the Blu-ray. I hate those uh, designs where it just shows, like, each character, and, or, you know, they do, like, the floating heads on a lot of stuff or whatever. Uh, I think this art's just a lot better. I, you know, they put the uh, rating symbol on the side on this one. It's the first time I've seen that. But uh, I guess they had to with it being, um, you know, full art on the back. You know, this is the regular Blu-ray cover, which is you know, kind of cheesy in my opinion. And the 4K disc art there. There's the Blu-ray as well. So yeah, I haven't seen this one yet. I hear it's really good. And uh, still looking for the slip. For the 4K uh, Homecoming, uh, the only Marvel movie I'm missing on 4K because I can't find the slip. If anybody has one, please hit me up. Let me know, um, and I will definitely buy it off you for you know a fair amount. Uh, I picked this one up on a whim. I wasn't really planning on it, and uh, I had the first one on DVD. I enjoyed both these movies. And uh, they're just good to have good family movies, watch with the kids and everything. That is the Adams Family uh, and Adams Family Values. Uh, it's only like twelve bucks. Got it from uh, Walmart. Just plain disc art. No code with this either. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. Could have made some money back on that, but uh... oh well. Not going to complain too much for uh, 12 bucks for both movies. And uh, oh, just always enjoy these movies. You can watch them any time of year, really. And then another one I know a lot of people picked up. And that is the 4K 
copy of The Shining. I meant to skim through this before doing this video, but I just haven't had time. I've been just working and tired and everything else. But, uh, yeah, excuses. Uh, l like most people, I just absolutely love this movie. But I have not actually seen it since DVD. I have the uh, Blu-ray um, in the multi-pack with uh, The Shining, Clockwork Orange in 2001. And uh, just never watched it for whatever reason. It's not a movie I watch a lot. Um, I've probably seen it. You know, three or four times, but just a fantastic film. I look forward to revisiting this on 4K, going from DVD straight to 4K, and, you know, skipping over Blu-ray and everything. It's definitely going to be, uh, hopefully, amazing. I hear it's like, um, you know, display quality or whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, yeah. And in here is what the uh, steelbook looks like, which... Plain disc, nothing fancy. Yeah, the code for, uh, is that your opinion matters survey code? Yeah, I'm not doing that. But yeah, that, that still book design, just, that's terrible. Uh, the slip cover is <clears throat> definitely the way to go, in my opinion. Um, I think it looks really awesome. I love the simplicity of it, yet, you know, a lot going on at the same time. I had a really hard time finding a slip in good shape. This one's not perfect by any means, but uh, good enough. And the same thing with Spider-Man. I don't know what was going on, but it was like everywhere I went, all their Spider-Man and Shining slips were pretty beat up. I don't, I don't know. Bad shipping this time around. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me know, guys, what the quality uh, looks like on The Shining if you guys have watched it. I just haven't thrown it in yet for whatever reason. And the last uh, pickup before those... Got this from Dollar General, the Fast and Furious 1 through 7. And I have uh, Fate of the Furious already on uh, Blu ray, so um, I have all of these except for 7 on Stillbook. And again, I'm going to get rid of all of my Stillbooks. So uh, the set for 20 bucks plus the half off that Dollar General is having right this second on all the uh, movies you buy tagged ones, which I believe are previously, this says new, um, I always thought that was, uh, rent, uh, rent, rentals, like used ones, so I don't know if the code's in there, I'm going to open this up, so yeah, $10 for this, for one through seven, I couldn't pass that up, I mean, I'm not the biggest, like, fan of these movies, but they're entertaining enough, um, so let's open this thing up and see if the code is in there, I don't, I don't know. I like the slip on this. It's got some embossing going and everything. Ooh, there is a code. I don't know if it's any good, but uh, yeah, if it is, I can definitely make some money back as well. Maybe even get 10 for it. I don't know. Making sure they're all in here. That's fine. Okay. There's seven, and you get a bonus disc as well so you know they're all on their separate disc and everything that's what I liked about the uh, Adams family collection as well uh, being on separate disc so those are the few pickups let's get into as the and more section of the uh, title which I'm sure I'll call it uh, we'll do the uh, run and flicks first here since it uh, doesn't require cutting or anything I was trying to kind of save the package, but uh, it's not going to happen. It's really stuck on it. And this one doesn't come with a slip, so not a big deal. This is the Code Red release of Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. Uh, I hear this movie is just awesome. Um, I watched the trailer to it as well beforehand, and... You do have a young Bill Paxton in here, too, which I was really excited for. And, uh, yeah, this is one I always saw going for, like, $80, $100, or 80 100 80 or 100 bucks or something, uh, because it was out of print there for a while. And uh, back in print now, guys, it's under 30 bucks, And uh, definitely jump on Ronan, <coughs> RoninFlix.com. I'll try to leave a link down below. And uh, if you guys are interested in picking this up for a good price, 
definitely do so now. I'll open all these up at the end of the video for those that don't want to stick around, just want to see what I got. Uh, I like doing it that way. I know that's how I'd like to uh, see my videos. Um, you know, let me just see what you have, and if I feel like going more in depth, then great. Uh, so I'll go over the features and stuff then. <coughs> all right, now let's see what we got from Epic Pictures. I know <laughs> I kind of forgot what I even fucking ordered. Um, yeah, I think that's the first time I actually cussed this time. No slips on any of these either. Uh, yeah, I do remember one. Uh, that, that. I can't remember the third one. I remember two of the three. There's three titles in here, but uh, I'm trying to blank on the third one. Oh, I had that. Uh, let me know if you guys have ever ordered from Epic. I got this Epic Pictures package in like two days, and it's free shipping over $50, I think. And I was just going to get two, and I was like $5 short of the free shipping or something. And I was like, there's some goodies on top. Ooh, harpoon, which this looks really awesome, by the way. It's like these these young kids, not young kids, but like young adults out on this boat and just like madness pursuing between the three of them. You got two guys and this girl out on this like yacht or whatever. And uh, it looks really messed up. I thought it was like going to do, do with uh, like a shark or a whale or something, you know, being called harpoon. But yeah, it looks really crazy. So I'm definitely going to grab this next time I order from them. And then you have candy corn, which looks awesome as hell. Uh, I've heard kind of mixed things about it, but every time I see the trailer, it just looks amazing. So, cool little advertisements here. Uh, they're inside. I, I don't know anything about this one. Um, can we watch for the tagline, I guess? And you have one for hoax. The horror is real. So pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. Uh, you know, maybe if I keep ordering from them and collect enough of these, I'll put them in like a collage or something. Oh, probably not. All right, nice bubble wrap on them. You know, good job, guys. Awesome. All right, and one you guys have already saw the card for. Candy corn. I had to have this. This is the one I was just going to get on there and order just this. And I'm like, you know what? I've never ordered from these guys. And they've been nice enough to send, you know, screeners and everything. So uh, let's go ahead and, and check out a few titles. Uh, so you got Tony Todd in here, PJ Souls, Courtney Gaines, of course, from uh, Chilling of the Corn, that Poncho Muller, uh, the short guy from uh, 31 and all that, played the uh, little Nazi guy. Um, doesn't sound like that in this movie from the trailer, but uh, yeah, this looks awesome as hell. So, uh, really, really excited to check this out. This will be one of the first ones I'm watching. And then this one here looked like a crazy, crazy good time. That is Sleigh Bells. Uh, three women kind of trapped by uh, Krampus and uh, like a fucked up Santa comes and tries to save him, uh, played by Barry Bostwick, I believe that's how you say his name, and you got Kristen uh, Klebe in here, or however you say her name, um, from a lot of other films from the genre, and uh, yeah, you know, Barry from uh, Rocky Horror, and uh, was he in Spin City and stuff, um, this looks like just a really, really good time, uh, if you haven't watched the, tra if you haven't watched the trailer, that Popping the bubble wrap just like surprised me. <laughs> Check out the trailer for Sleigh Bells. Uh, really, really cool. I will leave a link or try to remember to leave a link to Epic Pictures. They do have some trailers on their site, I do believe. And this one here, I was trying to find that third one and uh, I was just watching trailers and stuff. This looks like an absolute fucking blast. Um, I believe this might be like a, a UK film or something that didn't seem like it was an American film. But, uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anybody in this one. I'm not recognizing any names. 
Yeah, that is Book of Monsters. Yeah, this looks awesome. The monsters in the trailer look amazing. Um, kind of reminds me of the monsters from, uh, oh, what is it? I got, I got the movie, like, scene in my head. I can't think of the name of the movie. Um, once, once you guys see the monsters, you'll, you'll remember what I'm talking about. I think it was a Netflix movie, maybe. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, they look familiar, but they look really cool. So, yeah, that is it from the mail from these companies. I like how they put the uh, horror symbols on them. Uh, Sleigh Bells doesn't have one, but the other two do. Got the retro uh, stickers going there. And these are, uh, yeah, these are all Dread Central releases as well. And uh, uh, maybe, I don't think Sleigh Bells is. Yeah, it is. And so is, uh, yeah, they all three are. Most of their releases, if not all, are uh, Dread Central uh, related as well. So, yeah, Book of Monsters, Sleigh Bells, Candy Corn, Butcher Baker. Let's wrap out of here. And the last package. Like I said, this is to replace something I got in the mail last time. It wasn't uh, shipped very well to me. Um, I tried to get this at a cheaper price than what the guy wanted, but he, he wasn't really budging. And I, I told him, you know, I can't really blame you. I'm just trying not to pay for this thing multiple times. Um, But, uh, I got a lot of money invested in this movie so far. Um, that is a replacement slip cover. Wrapped up really well. Shipped in a box. This is the way you should do it. Try not to damage it. Opening it here. You know, if you guys are going to ship slips, especially harder to find ones, um, Definitely do it like this. Awesome. Thank you. Definitely in a lot better shape. That is a replacement slip for Demon Wind. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, he told me there was some shelf wear on it, but nothing major. And, uh, yeah, this thing is pretty damn immaculate. So, very, very happy to have this. Love this slip. And uh, it was well worth um, spending a little extra money to get a replacement. The other one's so banged up. You know, that, that's the quality of the vinegar syndrome slips right there. You can stand them up. Yeah. Uh, still excited to check this movie out, too. But, uh, I'm sure like most of their movies, the slip is the best part. Um, so if anybody needs a slip for Demon Wind and doesn't mind it being a little banged up and stuff, uh, I'll let you have it for a good price. Or trade it for a Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, I'll even do that, you know, I'll, I'll let it go for, you know, uh, under 10 bucks shipped, uh, the one that I got, if you guys are curious what shape it's in, watch the last video, i show you guys there, uh, I was gonna grab it, but I didn't, it. so, yeah, unless you're gonna stick around, that's it for this video, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, see you on the next one, for those that are sticking around, let's, uh, dive into these a little bit more, shall we, start with, the uh, Book of Monsters, Thank you, all of you, one or two people that are sticking around. I appreciate that. And pretty simple on the inside. Just the disc. Nothing, nothing too special going on here. So on here you have a director and writer commentary, cast commentary, opening the book of monsters, the making of the film, deleted and alternate scenes, gag reel, short films, fright fest interviews, and more. Uh... Yeah, so sounds like quite a few features on there. Pretty cool. And we'll do sleigh bells next. I'm sure, this is going to be the same thing with all these epic pictures. I was hoping they had just a regular Blu ray of uh, Terrifier. I was going to finally just add it to the collection. And uh, all they have is a still book, which I'm not doing still books anymore. So, pretty simple inside again. That's kind of disappointing, but you know. I always like when companies at least include some interior art or reversible art or 
something like that, but, uh, OCD kicking in. So on here you have uh, director and writer commentary, the making of sleigh bells, cookies, and conversation featurette. Hannah Minks tours the set. Hannah Minks makeup tutorial. Uh, Spooky Dan short film, badass Russian in Istanbul. Uh, and a trailer for uh, sleigh bells. So I guess the Hannah Minks chick is, is pretty popular. Uh, I'm not sure which one she is. Uh... I apologize, but yeah, sleigh bells. Go on to Candy Corn. I think these titles all run around uh, 20 bucks, something like that. 22. Yeah. Uh, so I don't order as much as I used to, so I'm just like, you know what, screw it. I'll you know, splurge a little on Epic here. They seem to put out some pretty decent titles. Ooh, this one does actually have, I want to say reversible art, but I think it's the fucking same. Like, exactly. Huh. It's kind of weird why you would have a reversible art that isn't so reversible. I don't see any differences. Huh. I don't know. You guys tell me. Am I missing something? I, I, I don't. I don't know. I just realized that these are like numbered. It says 20 on it. 20 dread. Great. Now the collector in me wants all of them. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, on here you have uh, One Piece at a Time, the making of Candy Corn, crowdfunding scene, in the director's chair with Josh Hasty, and director's commentary. I'm not exactly sure who Josh Hasty is. I kind of looked it up and it didn't seem like he directed a whole lot. He, like, worked on some other films and things, but, uh, um, I don't know. It's only 85 minutes. Yeah, this is number 10, Sleigh Bells. Uh, it runs set only 77 minutes on that one. And this is number uh, 13. So, now I gotta get them all. And this runs uh, 81 minutes. So these are all pretty short, you know, hour, under an hour and a half on all of them. Uh, you know, this looks like cheesy, fun, gory, horror shit going on. All right, lastly, Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker. I know it had another name, I can't remember. Uh, it was called, I can't remember. Yep, that's what it was called, I can't remember. Uh, hey, when you, you like see it in your head, you see like the name going across the screen, but you can't think of what it is. Um, ah, <laughs> it tells you on the inside. Now I remember. Also known as Night Warning, which is what the trailer showed. Um, looks like lots of uh, nudity and stuff in here as well. I like that Night Warning cover. I'll keep it with the Butcher Baker. You know, reversible art is cool, but it's even cooler with a slip cover. So you can, you know, have both. But, uh, eh. You know, like Vinegar Syndrome and Screen Factory. But, uh, I haven't actually watched any of my Code Red titles. I only got a couple. Um, so I'm curious quality on them. I, I don't like the squared off cases. I much prefer, well, I guess these are a little more round. But I hate these squared off ones. Anyway, uh, this is from 1982. Like most of the good horror films, um, very good year. And uh, runs 96 minutes. So anyway, on here you have a brand new uh, 2017 2K scan uh, from the original negative. The vault finally found it after misplacing it years ago. 
Uh, audio commentary by producer writer Stephen Bremer and co writer Alan J. Glukman or something. Narrated by Nathaniel Thompson. I don't know who any of these people are. Audio commentary by Jim Mc... Yeah, McNallick or something. Original theatrical trailer, on camera interview with stars Jimmy Mc... McNallick. Yeah, can't talk. Audio commentary by the same person. <laughs> Original theatrical trailer, on camera interviews uh, with, with some of the stars, makeup artist session with Alan Alpone and producer Stephen Brelmer. Reversible wrap with alternate, eh, meh, alternate artwork. And this is region free, guys. This is A, B, and C. Um, I think all these were too. Re that says region free, region free, and region free. So these call epics releases are all region free as well for you guys in the UK and elsewhere. Uh, you can pick up any of these. EpicPictures.com, RoninFlix.com. Again, I'll try to leave the links below. And uh, yeah, pretty excited for all of these. Uh, I want to watch all of these badly at the same time. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, thank you, Epic Pictures. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for uh, sending the links over the last few years and everything. And uh, hopefully now I can get to watching them. I have the cables to hook up to my phone, and uh, definitely, there's some more I want to pick up, I, I want to get to Hell and Back, the Kane Hodder story, I want to get just the regular Blu-ray of Terrifier, uh, I mean, I gotta get all of them, obviously, because they're fucking numbered, so do you put them alphabetically, or do you put them numbered, I have, like, my Slasher Classics by number, so I'd probably do these by number as well, I don't know, we'll see, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have seen any of these titles, what you guys think of them, what you guys have picked up, and uh, see you on the next video. Peace, love, happiness to all y'all. Bye.